Today I'm answering the question, what is the homestead law in California? Hi, I'm Greg Ashcraft. I'm an estate planning attorney here at the Ashcraft Firm. And today I'm gonna to be talking to you about the California homestead exemption law and some changes that have recently come to pass. And I'm gonna do it at my whiteboard. What is the homestead law in California? Well, first I'm gonna go over the old law and then I'm gonna to talk to you about the new law and then I'm gonna to talk to you about what this means for you. So the old law said that most people get a $75,000 exemption. And what that means is, and this is again, it's a $75,000 exemption on your primary residence, the home that you live in. So if your home that you live in is worth $400,000 and you had a $200,000 loan, then you have $200,000 in equity. If you try to protect that property, you have $75,000, you still have $125,000 of equity here unprotected. Now let's say that instead you qualify for this larger exemption. If you're over the age of 65 or you're disabled, then instead you have $175,000 of exemption. You still had $25,000 hanging out that you couldn't protect. Okay, so that's the old law. The new law though, the minimum amount that you can protect is $300,000. So that other, that last example I gave, everything would be protected under the new law. But let's up the stakes. So let's say we have a million dollar home and we have $500,000 home loan on it. So we have $500,000 in equity so with this new one, at minimum, we could protect $300,000. Unfortunately, we still have $200,000 hanging out there that's not protected. But when, do, when can we hit this maximum? It depends on which county your residence resides in. So let's say that you're in Riverside County. If you're in Riverside County, the last, I looked at some numbers, and it says the medium uh, house sold is $460,000. So we don't quite hit the maximum, but we're in between the minimum and the maximum because we can protect that amount in equity. So here we have $460,000 that we can protect, which means we still have 40,000 hanging out. Now let's say that this million dollar home is in San Diego County. If you're talking about San Diego County, the last I checked, it was uh, $640,000 was the, the average sale cost. So we run up to the maximum here. So we're over the maximum. So we can exempt up to $600,000. That means we don't have any unexempt asset here. So this homestead law will protect all of the equity that's had in this home. And even if this goes up to 1.1 million, we can still protect it. Now, this number actually has a little asterisk beside it because it goes up, it's indexed for inflation. So every year, if inflation increases, this dollar amount is going to increase as well. So what does this new law mean for us? So let's say that you contacted a bankruptcy attorney in the past and said that you wanted to file bankruptcy and they said you had too much equity in your house. They would make you file a chapter 13 in that case, because there's too much equity, you have to buy back the equity in your house. So now you might actually qualify for a chapter seven and because you don't have any unexempt assets, nothing's unprotected. What does this mean for asset protection? It means it's much easier to protect your home if there's some kind of lawsuit. Now this again, doesn't apply for all of your property, so if you own multiple pieces of property in California, it's not gonna protect all of them, but it will protect your primary residence. Again, I'm Greg with the Ashcraft Firm. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this informative, then please like it, subscribe to us, or you can look in our description and find our website to find more good information and possibly a consultation with one of our attorneys.